What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Paddock, and today we are going to talk about one of my Chop Shop series exercises that I call Cycle Up, Cycle Down. Okay, so the Cycle Up, Cycle Down Chop Shop is based on the circle of fifths or the circle of fourths, however you want to think about it. Uh, if you're going clockwise, it's based on the interval of a fifth, and if you're going counterclockwise, it's based on the interval of a fourth. For this exercise, we are going to be going counterclockwise, so we're going to think of it as the circle of fourths. Now, the lick is pretty easy. It goes one, two, three, five. So we're going to start this uh, in the key of B flat. And we're going to do that because B flat is the lowest note on our saxophone, and that is where we're going to start. So it's going to be... So those notes are B flat, C, D, F. So B flat is your one, C is your two, D is your three, and F is your five. Then we are going to go down in the next key. So the next key in your circle of fourths uh, going counterclockwise would be E flat. So instead of going one, two, three, five, we're going to go five, three, two, one. So your fifth in the key of E flat would be B flat. Your third would be G. Your second would be F, and your root would be E flat. So let's put them together. We're going to cycle up and then cycle down. Now, the beauty of this lick is your cycle up note, your first note, is a B flat, and your cycle down note, uh, your fifth note, is a B flat. Because we're starting on the one of B flat and the five of E flat. So you're starting on the same note when you cycle up and then you cycle down. So I'm playing B flat, C, D, F, B flat, G, F, E flat when I cycle down. So it's a super great lick on the saxophone and it is a pattern that's not quite as common as just ascending or, descent or descending. So it really makes you think of the scale and the key that you're in. Now, after you cycle up, cycle down, then you go to the next fourth. So we go up in B flat, down in E flat, then we go to A flat, we go up in A flat, down in D flat, although I like to think of D flat as C sharp. So we just kind of keep going up and down this pattern going uh, counterclockwise on the circle of fourths. So it sounds like this. It's a great lick. So we do that through all 12 keys. And then when we hit F, we switch directions. We switch, we switch directions because uh, the first time through we were going up on the B flat and down on the E flat. So we want to switch directions so that we're going to go down on the B flat and up on the E flat. So we're getting both directions of every key. So this is what the transition will sound like. Take a listen. <laughs> Right there where I took a breath, I switched directions. I started taking the ones that were going up, down, and the ones that were going down, up. So if you notice, I started going up on F and then went down on B flat. At the end of this video, I will put a full screen shot of the cycle pattern written out. Uh, you'll notice that there are no breaths. And the reason for that is because where you breathe all depends on how quickly you can play it. So I usually try to breathe at the transition, which is between the two Fs. Uh, but if you can't make it that far, stop and take a breath wherever you need to uh, breathe and then jump back in. So here is an example of how you should insert a breath when you need one. So all I'm doing is stopping after one of the cycles. I'm taking one beat to breathe and then I jump back in. Now, obviously, if you're playing a regular piece of music, you don't want to insert a beat anywhere uh, that you need to breathe. But for something like this, when where you breathe depends on how fast you play it, and there are no breath marks or rests written in, that's the way you're going to do it. 
uh, when you're when you're practicing uh, technique stuff like this, especially out of my Chop Shop series, that's the way most of the exercises are written. That you breathe when you need to, uh, and you try to set up goals that the faster you get, the less you need to breathe. So that is the Cycle Up, Cycle Down Chop Shop series. You're just going around the circle of fourths, so that's counterclockwise, uh, and you're going up, one, two, three, five, and then down, five, three, two, one, until you get through all 12 keys and then you switch directions. So whatever key that you started on, if you started going up, then that one needs to start going down. So everything is reversed. So you're hitting all 12 keys going up and going down. Thanks for taking the time to check this video out. I really appreciate it. If you now understand the Chop Shop series, cycle up, cycle down exercise, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I will put the Chop Shop uh, exercise up here at the end uh, for several seconds. Uh, I would suggest pausing it so you can read along with it.